Hey boys, look at the crystal. I want you to watch an event that happened to you in the forest. Ow. Oh, that still hurts. Oh man, they gave it to us good. Human girls are tough. You monopolous monsters didn't look very good against a few more little girls. I guess this was hard for you to watch, wasn't it? It was hard to watch, I'm afraid. It would be easier if you got a flat screen. My minions are idiot. Making us watch this was mean. Imagine me being mean. It's what I do you know wrong. Now, I want you five to go to town and pick up the two mortal girls. Bring them back here so I can question them about their red clad witch friend. We don't want to do that. We could get hurt. I'm not concerned with what you want. You'll do it because I told you you to do it. Why not have your arrow chumps do it? They are arrow chimps, not chumps, you fool. There are three reasons. First, the chimps are my personal guard. Second, the last time I sent them to town, the town people responded by attacking the castle with pitchforks and torches. Well nowadays they would do nothing, and just call it workplace violence. Third, and most importantly, you'll do it because I told you to. Now, take the van and go get those girls. And don't harm a hair on their heads. That's my job. Josh, how do you like it at our school? It's okay. But, I think Mrs. Thomas gives too much homework. Hush. Quiet. Here they come. Yes, way too much. Let's get them. Stand back. I'll protect you. You hit my boyfriend. I'll get you. Ow! 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 You have a lot of nerve sneaking up on a poor defenseless child. Red, you go help Seymour. Blue, come with me. We will get the other one. Let's go. Knock her off, and I'll put her in the bag. And she has a grip, like an anaconda. Oh, for crying out loud. I think she sprained my neck. Okay, Blue, you help Seymour. I'll get Philip. You're new in town so I'll let you off with a warning. But, it is a crime to file a false police report. If you thought that reporting an attack by Troll and Wolfman is funny, I don't. But it's true. And I think they took my friends Amy and Polly. You just gotta help. Young man, there are no such things as trolls and werewolves. They are fairy tales. And, FYI. I know those two girls and their parents. If they find out you have been telling stories like this, they won't let you hang out with their kids. Well, can you at least tell me how to get in touch with Superlative Girl? I don't know how to reach Superlative Girl. If I did I wouldn't tell you. You don't need to waste her time either. Now, get out of here before I run you into Juvenile Hall. Okay, thanks anyway. Hi Josh. What happened? Were you arrested? <laughs> Hi Judy. Amy, Polly, and I were attacked by werewolves and trolls. I think they took the girls. The police didn't believe me when I told them. Wow. 
Who wouldn't believe a story like that? Don't tell me you think I'm lying too. I'm sorry. Of course I believe you. What happened? Well, when we were walking home from school these wolfmen and trolls, the same ones that attacked us in Willikers Woods last month, jumped out of an old van and started a fight. I battled them the best I could but they ganged up on me and knocked me out. I guess that's when they grabbed Amy and Polly. Polly and Amy can fight pretty good, are you sure they didn't beat up the monsters, then went to get help? What could those little girls do, I'm a boy, a strong boy, and the monsters beat me. Girls wouldn't have a chance. By the way, do you know how to get in touch with Superlative Girl? We need her help. Actually I do know where Superlative Girl may be hanging out. I'll go tell her what happened. I'm sure she can help. I'll go with you. No no no. It's kind of a girl's only place. Why don't you go home? We will come there to see you. Okay. Just remember I'll be waiting for you. Just be patient. My eyes look a little worse for the wear. Did these two little girls really give you that much trouble? Well, they had a boy helping them. Yeah, but Seymour took out the boy with one punch. These girls did all the real fighting by themselves. Hush. Don't tell her that. That's what I thought. Where are the trolls anyway? Philip took Seymour to see Doc Merlin. Seymour's arm is broke. Yeah, and Philip's face is broke. Shut up, will you? Well, you three wants to step back and watch how me and my guards handle these two brats. Welcome to my home. How good of you to come and visit. We didn't just come here. Your thugs kidnapped us, you old bat. Ow, try that when I'm untied and I'll mash you like banana pudding ape face. My boys don't like it when I'm fast. Now for the reason I brought you here. I want to know about that red clad witch that helped you the other day in Willikers Woods. If you mean superlative girl, she isn't a witch, she is a superhero. She likes a good eye. That's disgusting. Anyway, I want to know where she lives and how I can get her to join my evil. No one knows where she lives. Or who she really is. She has a secret identity, and you're not allowed to know that. We will just see about that. Maybe because we'll convince you to tell me what I want to know. <laughs> what did you do to her? Change her back. Nobody gets changed back until I'm told what I want to know, Doc. Or the same fate awaits you, my pretty. I really don't know anything about Superlative Girl's secret identity. Amy is her part-time sidekick. She might know more than me. So change her back. Oh, okay. I guess I'm just an old softie. I'll change her back. But if I don't find out about the red clad which you'll both live the rest of your lives at Willikers Pond. Thank goodness you're back. Back from where? What happened? The witch changed you into a frog. Oh. That explains my craving for flying insects. Stop that. Stop what? Stop all this nonsense, that's what. Now tell me about this superhero, or go back to being green. Well about all I know, is that I am sure she'll be here soon to rescue us. Then you'll be sorry. She's coming here. Good. I think she'll be the sorry one. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'll bet that's why they're keeping Amy and Polly. We better get ready for our guest. You two pay attention. Hey, Worthy, get your crew and get back in here. Here we are. We're ready, your evilness. Good. Now just make sure you don't wet yourself when the girl shows up. Don't worry, your evilility. My guys are fearless and strong. Great, it's superlative girl. It's about time. Welcome, young lady. You fell into my trap. By the way, Wolfie, your I are not only fearless and brave, they are also fast. What? This is what happens when you hire from goons or us. Sorry about your wall. Now let those girls go before more things get broken. Yay. The only thing that will get broken is you, my pretty. Get her. Take her to her knees. <laughs> My pet. Oh no. Is that the best you can do? I said, get her. My stars, there goes another one. Thank you, Soupy. Wolfie, she is all yours now. Yes, Mr. Wolfman, we meet again. The last time didn't end well for you, remember? Hey, I don't want any part of this. I'll be leaving now. Whoa. Where did you come from? It's me again. Only this time I'm mad. Now put up your dukes. Yikes! You're not going anywhere, Wolfie. Let me go. Please let hey, me go. Hey, Polly. Should I let him go? Yes. That would be nice of you. There you go. Oops. Oh! That should teach you not to kidnap poor defenseless little children. Pardon my bluntness, ma'am, but I am asking you nicely to quit picking on these girls. Three things. First, don't call me ma'am. Second, I don't do anything nicely. And lastly, I don't care about these brats. I was using them to get to you. What do you want from me, ma'am? You either give me your powers, or join me in my evil. I won't do either. We beat your army, we can beat you too. Just quit picking on us. You may have beat my army, but you can't beat my magic. Superlative Look out, Doc. Give me that thing before you hurt someone. That's mine. Give it back. I'll give it to you in pieces. Oh, no. What have you done? You have broken my evil. My own oh eye. What is happening to me? Soupy, so what's strange. happening to her? I've never I don't felt know. this before. It sure looks Both strange. All my beautiful evil is lost. I felt sort of <gasps> good. I hope she Please isn't make melting. It stop. Oh my evil stars. What? <gasps> what? <gasps> Amy, I'm sure you really don't want anyone in unnecessary pain. Yeah, but who's to say what's unnecessary? <gasps> Ooh. 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 Oh look, Ooh. she's beautiful Ooh. now. What has become of me? You're right. Without that black dress and green skin, she's pretty hot. What is this strange feeling? It felt so good. Yuck. Here, this one seems to have reformed too. Thank you, sweetheart.
My stars. What did I just say? My parents would have washed out my mouth with bat wings for using language like that. Oh, aren't you just the cutest? Oh, I did it again. There you go, sweetie. I have the strangest craving to bake cookies. Darn it. Who wants chocolate chip? It looks like our work here is done. Aren't we going to wait for the cookies? No. Let's let these nice people bond. Let's go. But I like chocolate chip. Hey, wait up. Let me see if I have this right. You guys were captured by a witch with flying monkeys? Uh -huh. That's right. Are you sure you didn't just dream it, after binge watching The Wizard of Oz? Quite sure. Don't you believe us? You can ask Superlative Girl. She was there too. Judy, you never seem to be around when we have our adventures with Superlative Girl. Why is that? I don't know. I guess I'm just not lucky like you guys. She's jealous because she doesn't know Soupy like us. Judy. I bet you've never even seen Superlative Girl, have you? Oh, I guess you could say, we've met.